Hello everyone and welcome to this LanguageNut webinar. Today we're going to have a look at adding custom content on LanguageNut. So across the platform there are over 20,000 different exercises and activities including the new GCSE spec and also the legacy. However, if you happen to follow a bespoke scheme of work, then there's also the option to upload your own content to the site, which will integrate with the games already on the platform. This might be particularly pertinent if you have um, a language event or a language trip that you have already set up with another school, or possibly something that you want to draw on in terms of your colleagues having lived somewhere in one of the target language countries that you make a point of in your lessons. So the custom content is a really good feature um, and way to do that. So if I move to the platform, um, if we go into the admin area at the top here, you'll see across the top that one of the tabs is my content and AI and content library. This is where we upload everything. So you'll see that we now have two different options, my content or the content library. My content is where we're adding our own things. The content library are things that have already been uploaded by other teachers. So here we can select the language and as you see there's all of the different languages that we have on the site that are fully integrated. So for example if I go into Spanish you'll see that I can upload vocabulary, sentence building or exam skills. So here I'm looking for something that's already been uploaded. So for example I could look for my key term, familia. And then on the left hand side here and that means that these are the vocabulary sets that have already been verified by our development team and we're all ex-teachers. On the right hand side in this peach colour here you've got some of the ones that have been uploaded by other teachers you can see here it's quite a general term so there's quite a lot um, but before you upload your own thing it might have already been done by somebody else. So if I go back to my content now again we can choose the level so for example if I show you some secondary Spanish again we've got vocabulary sentence building or exam skills so I'm going to start with the vocabulary so I click on create new content and as you're going through the admin site you might have seen already that we've got some quick guides to help you um, so I'm going to go for next so for example I could add in la familia the description um, I could have vocabulary for family and then my learning language is going to be Spanish and the support language translation is in English you could have some images if you wanted to the best thing is down here, if you already have the vocabulary that you want in either a Word document, Excel or Google Doc, then you can bulk copy and paste. So I'll show you that now. So I've copied and now pasted in the vocabulary that I want. You can see here that it's a tab situation. So for example, if you've got the tab in between here to denote where each of the languages are, you could also have it separated by a comma. However, most uh, vocabulary sets are like this. So now I'm going to import and then you'll see here that we've got the uh, generated audio already, etc. We also have the support word going down here. So in order for the vocabulary to be integrated into the games that we already have on the platform, there just needs to be a minimum of eight vocabulary pairs. But we all know that there's normally more than eight words per vocabulary set to be learning. So I've done the vocabulary and now I'm going to move on to sentence building and then click on create new content and again you have got this quick guide to help you with creating sentences using the AI feature and then next so then here I'm going to choose my topic and I'm going to have la ciudad my support language is going to be in English and then my prompt for the AI generator is going to be um, sentences describing my city in Spanish so now if I click on create new sentences AI, I will get um, these sentences that I want. I'm going to choose the level, key stage three or four, and then I need to choose a number of sentences. I'll choose 10 for this. You could, however, import sentences if you already have them um, saved somewhere else in a Word document, Google Docs, etc., um, just as you can with the vocabulary. So you'll see it's very quick. Um, here I have my 10 sentences and you'll see that I'm able to edit. I can also delete the sentence if I don't like it. I can add some new ones in if I want to. When I'm happy with what's there, I click on save. And then you'll see in the menu that there are my sentences there. Firstly, for the exam skills, I'm going to do a speaking one. So I go to the next screen here, exam speaking skills and I'm going to go for the open question here. 
So my title, it could be the uh, title of the question as well. Como es tu ciudad? And the description, I'm going to put the subtopic that it falls under. So I've got my open question here. And then the question that I want to give students is the same. Then click on save. And you'll see it here. Now I'm going to go back into exam skills and we're going to do one of the others. So now I'm going to speaking skills and next I'm going to give my title a name, El Bosque, and you'll see why in a moment. And the description I will put the subtopic. So now I select speaking photo description and I can choose my image. And here I have my forest scene. Now I click on save. And then you'll see here, El Bosque. So the next one, we're going to go to exam skills again, down to speaking skills. And again, I'm going to give it a title. Not to be too repetitive. Como es tu ciudad? And then the topic of where I live. And now I'm going to choose the conversation. So for this one, I can either upload the audio um, and then click here and upload the file or I can record it straight onto this task. So if I click on the microphone here, it comes up with this microphone. I click on it and then click again when I'm ready. Como es tu ciudad? And then I can hear it back. Como es tu ciudad? And then save when I'm happy. And then once I'm happy with the audio, you can see it's there. I click on save. And here it is, como es tu ciudad? My favourite question. And then finally, let's move on to the writing. So I've selected exam skills writing. Again, I give it a title, not to be too repetitive. And then give the subject where I live. And then here you can either give um, your question, bullet points. You could also put model uh, a model answer for your students. You could put sentence starters. Um, you could put a checklist of things that they need to include. You can put whatever you want in that space there, depending on how scaffolded you want it for your students. And click on save. And here it is down the bottom. Now, if I go back into the Spanish product, I can show you where all of the custom content is. Under exam skills, here we have my content. Click on that one there. This one will appear once you've uploaded something. And then down the bottom here, you have the four things that I've uploaded. So let's have a look at the open question for the speaking first. Again, it's teacher marked, como es tu ciudad? And then it looks exactly how it does on the platform. Students have a minute to prepare and then they can start their recording. If we go back, we can have a look now at the photo description of El Bosque. Here's my photo. They have the four minutes of preparation time at the bottom, mimicking what they would do with the invigilator. And then when they're ready, start now and they can record their answer. Let's go back and have a look at the others. So again, my content, we've got the uh, conversation question now. So at the top, we've got the audio. ¿Cómo es tu ciudad? And then we've got this, the uh, snail button to slow it down. ¿Cómo es tu ciudad? And you'll see that students have a minute to prepare and then they can start recording their own answer and that gets saved. And then finally, let's have a look at that open question for the writing. Here's my overarching question at the top and copy and paste has been disabled on all of the writing activities across the platform. If you've taught during lockdown, you know why that's a good thing. Thank you for listening. And if you have found this helpful and would like to book in for a one-to-one -one for a specific product consultation, then please email me at sarah at languagenut.com. Thank you.